Well, Times Square, where I am right now in New York City, is often called the crossroads of the world. Over 300,000 people walk through here every day, and those bright lights and billboards bring in tourists from around the world. But has it become a victim of its own success? Karina Huber explores. Times Square has gone through many incarnations. It's currently filled with Disney shows and chain restaurants. But in the 1970s, it was better known for its X-rated theaters and crime. It was an area that uh, most people referred to as Vice Central. Between the grinder theaters, the pornography, and the loitering on the street, and the low-level crime, pickpocketing and the like, women were not comfortable on that street. We called it male turf. In the 1990s, it was rezoned and reborn as a family-friendly entertainment hub. Its popularity among tourists soared. Times Square now attracts more than 39 million visitors per year, making it the world's second most visited site. But its success has also attracted a group of cartoon characters accused of harassing and groping some of those tourists. Some feel Times Square is digressing to its seedier past. The mayor said he wants to get rid of the characters, but other groups think it's not the right approach. We're not looking to ban anyone from Times Square because we want to celebrate the different types of people who come here um, to express themselves. But there have been a handful of bad actors who have behaved incredibly aggressively. Getting things right is vitally important. Aside from being a top tourist draw, Times Square is also a premium location for commercial real estate. Data in the summer showed demand had been softening. New York City real estate is always in flux, um, and all the numbers that we have point to pretty steady occupancy rates at around 93 percent, which is actually higher than downtown and midtown. Um, that being said, there are a lot of new commercial office districts coming online, such as Hudson Yards, downtown Brooklyn, and so we're monitoring very closely. On top of competition, the worry is that the unsavory characters will make the area less attractive to tenants. While the stakeholders might not agree on how to tackle the problem, there seems to be consensus that something needs to change. The challenge lies in getting rid of the aggressive characters without sanitizing the area altogether, which would kill the spontaneity that has long made Times Square a top tourist draw. Karina Huber, CCTV, New York.